Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Tarte's gift set, save, share, and surprise mascara set. <laughs> Here is the gift set. It is $35 for the entire set and each mascara alone is actually $23. So this definitely is a great value. I've never actually tried any of these mascaras, but I hear really great things about them and I was needing some new mascara. So I was thinking what a perfect time to purchase this set. I get to try them all out for a really good price. And best of all, I get to share this with you guys. So let's go ahead and get this opened. Let's start with the first one. This one is the surfer curl. This one is supposed to be nourishing natural. It's supposed to give you curl and volume. It's also supposed to be sweat proof, smudge free and flake free. So I did try this one on and I think that this mascara is actually perfect for my bottom eyelashes. I'm wearing this one right now. I think it's perfect for my bottom lashes and also I like how it looks underneath false lashes. It doesn't overpower the false lashes. You don't see them through the lashes. It just kind of works perfectly with them. So I do think that this one is a pretty good mascara. The bristles are just so small. I think it's perfect. Does it give you that volume and that curl? No, I don't think so, but it is perfect for what I need and I need it to be pretty subtle. The next one is going to be the Lights Camera Lashes. I was so excited about this mascara because I hear so many good things about it and it just looks so different from all the other mascaras. Um, I'm sure you've heard that this does look like a tampon, but I don't care. I think it's super cute and it just looks so different from all the other mascaras. And I do think that it stays true to what it promises. It's a four in one mascara. It's supposed to be curling, lengthening, volumizing, and conditioning. So I think that this is good for like an everyday mascara. It's not dramatic or anything like that. I like the way that it looks without false lashes. I think it's great. It really does do everything that it's supposed to do. So I'm super happy with this one. Okay. so for the last one that's in this package, Big Ego. This one, as soon as it came out, I was super curious about it. There was just such a big hype. I'm really nervous about purchasing new mascaras to try out only because they're so expensive and if you don't like them, like you're stuck with this huge tube. And I'm the kind of person that needs to finish the entire product. I can't just use it and not like it and then throw it away. So I did try this one. And this one is supposed to be lengthening, volumizing. I mean like it's supposed to be super dramatic and it definitely delivers it definitely delivers a little too much the bristles are ginormous absolutely huge it's great for the top lashes like absolutely perfect but the bottom lashes the bristles are so big that it got all over the bottom lid and I really did try to touch it up. I tried really hard. I got the, you know, I got Q-tips. I got a spoolie to try to like scratch it off. And I was even using like tissues because my eyes started watering and yeah, it just got everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I would still use this again on my top lids though. And then I would use the surfer curl on my bottom lids. Um, and then maybe just like layer it up a bit just so that way it can kind of match the big ego because this one is just like crazy dramatic. I really do like all three of these mascaras. Do I think that the $35 is worth it? Yeah, I do. I really do. This one is good for, like I said, my bottom lashes. It's good for wearing underneath falsies. This one is good for every day. It delivers on its promise. And this one is just insane. If you don't want to wear false lashes, I think that this is the way to go, but just use something very tiny on the bottom lashes because this can get real messy real fast. And it could be because I have just the tiniest, the thinnest bottom lashes ever. And this was trying to grasp to something. And the only thing that was there was my skin. So, I mean, that could be just me. So if you have the very little itty bitty lashes like me, just be very careful. Um, but other than that, I really, really loved them. So if you're looking for a gift for someone who 
loves mascara, this is definitely a good go-to gift. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope that it helped you guys out because I know that all these makeup brands are coming out with these new holiday collections and there's just so many and it's really overwhelming. So hopefully this helped you guys just kind of pick and choose what you would like to get. Let me know down in the comments below. Have you tried out any of these mascaras? What do you like? What do you not like? Which ones are better? Let me know down in the comments below and hit that thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe for more content. Thanks. Bye.